Alright, so uh, I get a lot of questions about what's on my walls in my office, so we're going to do a little video. I'm going to show you guys uh, some of the memorabilia that I've got and uh, tell a little bit of stories and stuff from some of the stuff on the wall. But anyway, you guys know the best web baseball website in the world. If you haven't been there before, go check it out. Alright, let's start over here. First thing we got here is a Josh Donaldson signed jersey to my boy John Madden JD the bringer of rain uh, he's the Oakland A's third baseman Josh was actually a freshman um, at Auburn University when I was a senior um, so I got to play with him man he's a real cool dude um, and I'm actually making a video about 28 things that Josh Donaldson taught me about hitting that's gonna be a real good one so stay tuned for that one and the next one we got here is Jason Grilly he was a uh, MLB all-star in 2013 I think it was um, I, I've also got some interviews with uh, Grilly on my website which are really cool man some of the things that he said a few years before this it was like three or four years before he was uh, an all-star uh, came to life it was crazy because he pretty much predicted um, what he was saying on the interview so it's really cool man uh, what did really say here thanks for all the free lessons and support <laughs> actually really man he I met him when I was still playing so um, he was actually teaching me a lot um, he was just being funny there on the jersey but real cool dude Ramos Cesar Ramos, we got drafted together with the Padres um, and uh, came up through the organization together. A real cool dude, my boy. Let's say here, left-handed pitcher. This is with the Rays now. He's with the Rays. Uh, I still think he's with the Rays. I don't know about this offseason, but um, to the real John Madden. Very nice. That's just a SEC ball. I don't know what that's about. This ball right here is from... Uh, look at that, Nick Richards. What's up, Nick? I can't read any of those other names. But uh, this is from when I played in the Valley League. It's a uh, collegiate summer league, and I got that signed. I don't even know who the hell that is. Can't read that signature. Then we got Greg Burke. Look at that man. He uh, Greg's got a great story, man. He came to the Padres through independent uh, independent league baseball um, and uh, you know it was just kinda up and down and going through some things and then really one year just put it all together and got called up to the big leagues and ever since then he's been up and down and, and he's still playing this year I think he, last year he was with the Rockies this year I think he's with um, uh, the Blue Jays so that's uh, cool what do you write here mad dog always keep hustling nastiest Stuff I've ever seen. Wipeout slider, baby. Your friend and teammate, Greg Burke. Look at that guy. Very nice. Got some more baseballs up here. Let's see what we got up here. Baseball champion. State champions. This is, oh, this is from Juco. Man, best team ever. 2003, we won the state champions. We went to the Juco World Series. It was awesome. Oh. Is this that team or is this the team before? Yep. No, this is the team right here. Juco World Series team. Let me see if I can find your boy. Oh, there's Ben Sprague. He went to Auburn with me. And my roommate, John Michael. Tim, you don't you guys don't need Oh there your boy right there. Look at that guy. Wow. Very nice. And then this is from two different years. I just posted a picture of this on Instagram. But uh same catcher, same pitcher. That's me pitching. One's at uh, Community College. Same poses, too. And one's at Auburn. Same poses. So, consistency is key in baseball. Keep it the same. You think you think we were on the same page? You better believe that. And this was the year before in JUCO. My first year in JUCO. Another great team, too. Except this guy. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. He knows who he is. Ah, uh, what is this? PHS. That's my high school. Outstanding pitcher. Um, that was a great year. 
that high school. There's our high school team. I ain't going to let you read what's on that. Randy Reddy, bobblehead doll. Uh, he was my manager in uh, my first full year of pro ball um, with the full season. Fort, Fort Wayne Wizard. I think they're called the Tin Caps now. But uh, he's probably going to be a big league manager soon, so be on the lookout for him. Ricky Weeks. Y'all know Ricky Weeks. Um, he trains at the uh, facility where I work out, so I got to pick his brain and talk to him a little bit and meet him. Real cool dude. Um, Stevie Delabar is my boy. We came up together in, a, in the Padres organization. Um, and uh, we really hit it off. We sat by each other in the plane um, to our first short season. And ever since then, we just... Uh, Man, kicking it and having a good time. Real cool dude. He was he was also an MLB All-Star. Um, 2013. Or yeah, 2013 or 12. So we got one, two, Donaldson was an all-star this year, three, and then we got some future all-stars over here. Brandon Gomes is a pitcher for Tampa Bay. I don't know if he's still with Tampa Bay or not. But we came up together in the Padres organization as well. Two Mad Dog. Fat guys throw hard. <laughs> we used to uh, make jokes all the time because uh, uh, I would eat a bunch of Oreos during the spread. And we say that Oreos will give you, each Oreo you eat will give you a half a mile an hour on your fastball. So <laughs> we always joked about that. And now I'm fat, so I think he's making fun of me. I don't know. But uh, anyway, here's Lobatone. He was also on the team. Man, all these guys were on the same team at one point or another. Lobatone, Gomes, Delabar, Burke, Ramos. Yeah, and that's it. All those guys were on the same team at one point or another. But uh, funny thing is I got to um, catch back up with Lobatone, and, and he trained with me um, last offseason. He got traded to the Nationals, actually. Um, and the day I brought him this jersey to sign... He it was when he got traded. I was like, dang, man, I brought the wrong jersey. So, but uh, anyway, he says, to John Madden, no es la cantidad, sino la calidad. And that means it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. Jose Lobaton. Nick Gordon. Fifth overall draft pick this year. Um, he trains with Coach Andre at the facility. Um, really cool kid, man. He's uh, he's going to be a good player for a long time to come. Uh, really nice kid and, and just really good at what he does. So I'm looking forward to see him, seeing him in the next few years playing in the big leagues. This bat right here. I don't even know who's on this bat. Got a couple guys. It was at a celebrity golf tournament. Uh, Kissimmee Sticks bat. Uh, I know for sure I got Chris Kirkpatrick on here. But uh, I don't know. He's one of the um, NSYNC or Backstreet Boys. One of those guys. But funny, th funny thing is, man, he was a real cool guy. My boy was messing with him the whole time. And he just took it in stride. Was laughing, joking. He's a real cool dude, man. But we got some other NFL guys on that bat. Uh, basketball guys, baseball guys. I just don't even know who's on the bat, but I liked it, so I hung it up. This is Auburn University. What year is this? 2005. Oh, let's see if I can find Donaldson. I think he's on this side somewhere. Where's he at? Oh, there's your boy right there. That's me. Where's Donaldson? There he is, right behind me. Look at that guy. A lot of great players on that team, man. A lot of great players. Here's a poster that we had uh, when I was there. there. There I am. Pitch in. Arnold Huey, he got drafted with me to the Padres. I'll show you something here in a minute. Josh Bell, what up? Sprague, that was the other guy from uh, Seminole that came with me. And JT also. My boys from Seminole. We have four guys that went from my JUCO. There's Mike. Four guys from my JUCO that went to Auburn that next year. And here's the 2003 team, or 2004, excuse me, 
bunch of great players on there too. A lot of pro players um, that are still playing on that team. And here's uh, as Arnold Huey right there. That was right before we got drafted. We wore the same shorts, not on purpose, to a water park. And I think later that day or later that week, we got drafted. This is all the Padres draft picks for that year. And we got drafted out of Auburn University to the Padres together that year. War Eagle. Now I got some books hanging up up here. Home Run was a, a book, but it was a movie too. I think it was a movie first. And then they made a book when the movie came out. But the cool thing about this is um, my friend from high school and his father uh, make wood bats. And they got into this. And I was working with them for a little bit on making the wood bats. And you can see the wood bat right there, the Kissimmee Sticks, uh, made it into the movie. So they're all they're all over the movie when if you watch the movie and uh, on the cover of the book. So that's really cool. Um, I got that hanging up there. Check them out. Too, if you want a good wood bat and then you got the bullpen gospels by Dirk Hayhurst I'm actually in this book now he used nicknames for everyone and uh, my nickname is mad dog in the book so if you want to read that book um, my character is mad dog it's true stories um, but he just put uh, fake names in there so he didn't get anyone in trouble but I don't think I did anything too stupid in there so um, you can read that and check it out and then there's another one by him uh, out of my league. Uh, I'm not in this one, but this is um, his on the road going to the big leagues. A rookie survival in the bigs. So, um, another good book. And then you got Shark Tales How I Turned a Thousand Dollars into a Billion Dollar Business by Barbara Corcoran. Uh, Barbara, you know, from Shark Tank on ABC, where the investors go on the uh, TV shows and stuff. She's my aunt. Pretty cool, huh? Um, I love watching that show. It's a good show. She's she's an awesome lady, man. I love her. Um, then you got what do I got up here? Oh, Eric Sogard to the left there, my man. He uh, he's the second baseman for the um, A's, so he plays with Donaldson now. In the middle there, you got Sammy Carter, Yarmi, and then on the right there, Kelling. Cool. Becky, um, we, we all played together uh, in the Padres organization, and they were dropping a bunch of, but one week they were all dropping bombs like crazy in all kinds of home runs, and uh, they took this picture and I had them sign it, so pretty cool, pretty cool, all really cool dudes, what else, what am I missing, your boy over here with the uh, Boston hat on, my bad, my bad, <laughs> I'm not a Boston fan. But I like the hat. Southeastern Conference. All SEC first team. That was my last year in college. I won that. I was actually an All-American that year, but they never sent me a plaque or anything. I guess they don't send plaques for that. But uh, I don't know. I got some baseball cards from when I was at Auburn. My first year in Pro Ball, Eugene Emeralds. First year, first full season in Pro Ball with the Wizards. Then I was with the Storm. And then the Storm again. And then I got, and then I went to the Mets after the Padres and played with them for a season. And then I got some baseballs up here. Some of them are significant, some not so significant, but I got one from each league that I played in. Um, got a major league ball from some of the spring uh, spring training games I played in. Eastern League, that's with the Mets. Arizona League, Gulf Coast League, Northwest League, NCAA. Uh, that was a tournament, I think. Valley League, SEC, Valley League, Juco, Storm. No hitter. Oh, just some baseballs up there. Oh, but my one significant one, where is it? No, it's over here. Let's look at this first. Wizards, 2006 most valuable pitcher. <clears throat> this ball right here, where is it at? 
this one. That ball right there. That's the ball that I shut down FSU with in the Super Regionals. God, I hate that. I hate the Seminoles. Anyway, that's my uh, that's my office. That's everything in my office. Um, I don't know. I didn't know you guys would want to see that, but a few people have asked. So there you go. That's everything in my office. Oh, I forgot these. I lied. That's my boy Troy Bell. I played with him in high school and college and uh, still keep in touch to the day. Um, that's my jersey. And those are my Juco jerseys as well. I got some bats over here. Omer Santos, catcher I used to train with. Um, Stopper of the year, 2005. That's really it. That's really it. That's the office. So, anyway, I hope you guys liked it. And that's it.